Hey, right. Okay. Hello. Um, so what happened last time was uh, we're doing some stuff to try and program a ROM. And uh, it failed because the thing to stick the chip in, chip, this needed to go into there and uh, it was broken. So I took it off and um, waited for Amazon to deliver a new one. So we're going to stick that on there and stick that in there and plug that into here and put a bit of software on here. <laughs> It's a convoluted process. We're going to put a bit of software on here that we can stick into a BBC Micro, which is over there, and um, plug it into <laughs> plug it into this, which will let it go online. Yes, won't that be great? Very, you know, big contribution to society doing that. But you know. It's fun, isn't it, I suppose, for certain people. Cool. So I've never done a bit of soldering on a live stream before, and I'm probably going to regret it because I'm an okay solderer. I did, I, no, no, to be fair, I did do desoldering last time, but desoldering is very much not soldering. Um, yeah, it'll, it'll work. I can solder well enough to make things work, and I can even solder quite neatly when I'm really you know putting some effort in but we'll see um the light's a little bit shitty isn't it let me see what i can do about that oh hello that's right in my face how's that that's a little bit that's a bit nicer isn't it how is it when i bring it up there yeah that's good cool anyway hope uh sort of beard hairs everywhere excuse me um Hope everyone's doing well, if they're watching. Have I got any viewers? Um, no, I don't think. I'm not even convinced this thing works. I've got my, um, I've got this over here. I've got my iPad there with the Restream chat on. I'm not entirely sure Restream shows the chat. I say that, actually. It's equally, well, if not more likely, that there's just no chat. So that's all right. It is what it is. I don't do this for people to watch, really. I do it because it's fun. Um... Cool. So we've got the board, we've got a soldering iron, we've got a ZIF socket. See how this is meant to work is you put the chip, slide the chip in, and then when you push that lever down, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, that's pretty good. You can see the little leaves inside, they sort of squeeze the legs of the chip. And what happened with the other one, with the one that, you know, was was built into this thing was um, these these screw posts let go and uh, the whole thing kind of exploded um, which I was a little bit annoyed about because um, it, wasn't, it wasn't cheap but it also wasn't expensive so what are you going to do eh but hopefully the repair will be cheap because that was a couple of quid so nice a little bit worried about the fact that the, the legs aren't especially straight but they'll, um, we can sort of nudge those in the right direction when uh, when we're putting it into the board. And then just solder it and be done. What I haven't got is some blue tack, And I really do need some blue tack. But what I'll do instead, because what you do is, obviously once you've got that through the holes, you need to, something to hold it in place while you solder the other side. And uh, usually, you know, it's nice to be able to just stick a bit of blue tack on. But... I haven't got some. I'm meant to get some, but I've got a bit of tape or something. That'll do. Um, yeah, it'll be fine. So, um, what I need... What I need is what I don't have. Oh, I used to do. There we go. A cloth. And a... Isopropyl. And my... Isopropyl alcohol. <laughs> um, coaster. Because you need one of those. I didn't at all buy a bunch of... Um, silicon floppy disk coasters cause, just because I thought they were cool it's an absolute, you know, actual use for them I wrote that on by the way it's not like it actually came with that that would be ridiculous um, what I'm going to do first is top this up because I'm being lazy and using my gas soldering iron 
because I can't be bothered to get the big old electric one out. This is always fun. Oh, yep, that's in the hole. Oof. <laughs> Freezes your fingers, it does. Let me have a little noodle around on this. Um, Oh, I've just noticed actually that the restream thing doesn't show the Facebook chat. Ah. So what I do is so that, um, and this is the wrong thing to do really, because it means that if people do start watching, it means that they're split across two different platforms. But what I'm doing is um, using a thing called restream.io, which means that I can stream to um, Facebook and Twitch at the same time. Um, yeah, like I say, it's probably not the best of ideas, but... Uh, ideally, I would like everything to be on Twitch, but um, I don't really have many followers on Twitch um, for obvious reasons, because I <laughs> I make this kind of content. Um, but uh, that, that does mean is if people are chatting to me on Facebook, I do not see. So let me just do some stuff involving... Do some admin. Just do a quick on-stream admin. And... Uh, uh, okay. Oh, don't be a bastard. Exciting admin time. Do do do. So I've got this. I've got this bit of software that lets you use your. Um, because I'm a bit space constrained. Um, I've got a bit of software that uh, lets you use your iPad as a as a external monitor for the PC, <clears throat> which is which is really really cool. Um, but. Yeah, it doesn't, you know, it won't magically make everything cool. You've got to move some stuff around and do things. Oh, hello, there's... Oh, let me turn that volume down. I can hear myself. That's pretty awful. There you go. Yeah. There we go. Oh, that was horrible. I had to mute the tab that... Um... Ah, yes, people... Hello, hello. It's your brother-in-law. He's there. What's he doing? What are you saying? Get soldering? Ah, you're not talking to yourself now. I have chatty powers. Right. That's nice. Right, okay, this is really high pressure because Ross does soldering for a living. Hello. Uh, oh god. Are you are you a are you are an, you are a nostalgia nerd watcher, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I I got the I got the um I got the uh implication there. Yeah, nostalgia nerd and Octavius. Hello. Oh god. It, see this is I right. Okay, so I watch um <laughs> for, for, well, for a, yeah, you do do soldering for a living. Don't you? Um Oh no, no, no. I mustn't try and have a two-way chat via via voice and Facebook messages because of the delay so it's going to get really really awkward if I try and have this conversation like this because you'll be answering like yep and I'll think it's what I've just said but it isn't it's what I said 30 seconds ago and it all gets a bit messy um yeah yeah well for a living you do you you have been you have been paid to do soldering before in the past which um is something that should never ever ever happen to me my soldering is for my own consumption only Purely my own consumption, and um, preferably I don't break things. But if I break this, it doesn't matter. I get another one. It's all right. Low stakes soldering. Right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I don't. I think. Uh, I think the Facebook Facebook chat is is. I don't know how they get the streams to. Uh, maybe ah, uh, they there's a low latency button on Twitch at least. I don't know. I don't know if you can get fa uh, Facebook's Facebook stream to more closely be real time but i know twitch you can if you if you'd like you are if you're one of these streamers like um you know if you're the robotrons of this world or something that are always talking to their millions of adoring fans they've got a button which uh which makes it less uh, less laggy i'm not going to do that cuz well i like lag sorry clean that board um i did notice there's a couple of holes which haven't got which aren't entirely clean, but we'll fix that. Um, 
you do <laughs> soldering. <laughs> this is this is because America. That's how Americans say soldering, isn't it? Soldering. You've watched you've watched too many uh, uh, too many American streamers. Have you watched um, uh, Mark Fix's stuff? Because Mark Fix's stuff is brilliant. Because I love the times when he kind of doesn't fix it and he makes it worse. But then he, he does always fix it in the end. But I'm very pleased that um, a guy who is so good at soldering that he and fixing stuff that he literally has a Twitch stream called or a YouTube channel called Mark Fixes Stuff, he still cocks it up, which is very reassuring. Very reassuring. But anyway, don't. <laughs> yeah, Mark fixes stuff. Yeah, don't don't backseat sold them, bro. Do not do not give me um. Do not start giving me tips. Well, I mean, give me tips, but not now because, you know, I'll just ignore them because I can't do two things at once. What I do need is my my show them the clamps. I need to show them the clamps. Where have I put my clamps? Where have I put my clamps? Where's the pinches? Well, oh, shit, it's a... It's a fucking great big metal thing with big arms and pinchy things on the end. And this... Oh, I can see it. I can see it. Okay, I've got to go over the other side of the room. Be happy. There we go. I've got... <laughs> I have the clamps. Uh, hold on, I've crossed. What's going on here? Stop! Stop trying to be funny. It's got hair all over it. This is, this is why I don't go on a stream because you see enough of my hair all over all over the things I own. Oh wait, that's not hair. No, no, that's not hair. That's um, that's uh, dried um, glue, dried hot glue. There we go. That. Uh, this isn't right. None of this is right. Uh, this is better. This is better. Soldering iron's still on. This is still hot. Do not touch that. I very nearly did. It is hot. <sighs> right. Clamps. Doopy doo. Do you watch um, uh, Robotron as well? Or as I've heard him called, Robotron by some people which is quite funny because he's clearly not a robot he's an Australian if you uh, yeah I've I've been watching so much Twitch I think Twitch has basically turned into my TV now um, which is kind of weird but uh, yes Robotron very good uh, I had a point there but I can't remember what it was I, I was, I was that was leading into something but uh, never mind right uh, let's flip this round so, what I might do is just put a, little, put a little bit of zoom on it. Just a little taste of zoom. Not the zoom that we we, we all use. You know, just... Ah! Too, there we go. That'll do. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of... It's a bit reflecty, but... What's important is that I can see it. Oh, my, um... My restream.io thing seems to think it can see Facebook messages now. It can see messages that I send, but it can't see messages that people send to me. So that is a little bit shit, isn't it? That's kind of pointless. Brilliant. Um, what I should do is I should switch that over to Twitch so I can see if there's any Twitch talkies. There are no Twitch talkies. There's nothing talking on Twitch. Never mind. Anyway, I'm just going to burn up all my gas there, aren't I? Uh, what do I need to do? Um, I don't need that yet. Um, sort it out. Right, I don't even need to do this. What I need to do is put that the right way up. And then just see if I can line up the holes. I'll be good at that end. That's, that's nice. Uh, okay, they're all right. I think we've got a few on this the side closest to me that don't line up very well. That, that's okay. But yeah, we've got a couple that are a bit out of place there. What do you mean you don't have... Uh, you don't have Twitch, as in 
yeah, I know. But do do you have do you have access to Twitch? You have the ability to watch watch the Twitch. You should watch Twitch. You will like Twitch. I will send you people to watch on Twitch. You will like Robotron. He's a very sweary Australian. Watch the um if you if you're gonna if you're gonna only watch one thing on Twitch, watch um not this weekend coming but the weekend after. I've I've shared it on I shared it on Facebook. Um Robotron's doing a fifty hour stream um non stop or something, um for a bunch of charities and stuff. And um it's I mean, yeah. I find two hours of the guy hilarious, let alone fifty. Um very, very good. In fact, just just go on, just just go on. Uh, what is it? Twitch.tv slash Robotron now, R O B B O T R O N, and uh, watch his um, because uh, the big like the, the big fancy um, Twitch people they have like their own trailers and stuff for their their streams. So um, watch his stream trailer because it will be. I think I think I think you'll like it. I'm sure you'll like it actually. Um. And I mention him because I've got the song Shovel of Ducks stuck in my head. Shovel of Ducks. Shovel of Ducks. Shovel of Ducks. Shovel of Ducks. That's how I spent my evening today. Watching someone sing about a shovel of ducks. Uh, this is really, really annoying, though. Uh, okay, I'm just trying to... don't know how much you can see. You can't see very much. I can't see very much either, to be fair. Um, I'm just trying to coax each of these pins in so that uh, they line up with the hole that they're meant to go into. Not helped by the fact I suddenly got a very itchy nose. Shovel of ducks. And if you can hear some noise behind me, uh, I've got a like noise gate and stuff on the mic. But if you can hear noise behind me when I talk, I'm, I've, I've got Twitch on in the background. Because like I say, all I watch now is Twitch. The best, I, I posted this on Facebook, but I, I got, um, oh, oh, wow, hardcore, okay, back in a bit. What's that in relation to? Something is hardcore and you will be back. Ah, uh, are you watching, are you watching Rubbertron, maybe? Yeah, he's quite hardcore, to be fair. Oh, yeah, he's, he's 50 hour thing, yeah, it's nuts. I, I realise... I think I need something a bit more precise than one of those. I think I might have to get the tweez. They're they're like they're like clamps, but they're much smaller. They're like you know they're like baby ones of those. I think. Ooh, I think curvy one might do it, or maybe. Ooh, less curvy. Let's use these guys. They've still got their lid, lid on. And, and if they've still got their lid on, it means I don't use them much. I am signed up to Twitch. Ah. Is it twitch.tv forward slash the underscore prof? I'm just guessing. Ah, now you can follow me on Twitch and you can do conversations on Twitch and you can subscribe on Twitch. No, I don't subscribe because I think that costs money, but you can follow and shit. Right, okay. Like I say, what I'm trying to do is get in there with these, move those, wiggle those pins about and get them to pop through the holes that they rightfully belong through. So this is going to involve me getting my face quite close to it, so it will disappear off the camera. The, the board that is, not my face. Yeah. When I ordered this, someone had said on the uh, reviews, the Amazon reviews, that when it arrived, the pins were all bent. And I was like, ah, it's not going to happen to me. 
And it's happened to me. But I think I think we're done. I think we're in. Ooh. <laughs> so, sodder, sodderer, sodderer, sodderer. Okay, so Ross's Twitch name is uh, sodderer. That's good though, because when you when you when you comment and when you say witty things in people's Twitch streams, um, they'll have to somehow pronounce that. In fact, yeah, what you should do now is you should just go around like Robotron, Octavius, Nostalgia Nerd, all those people, wait till they're on when they're doing a live thing, join their chat and then just um, just do a follow because it is a Twitch etiquette that whenever you get a follow, the streamer goes, oh, thank you for the follow, yay, or something. Um, I wouldn't know, I've not had to do it. But if, um, yeah, they'll they'll have to go, thank you for doing that. And that will be amusing. Um, right, let me, uh, let me find my tape. Need some tape to hold this down. There we go. Bit of, um, bit of the old, uh, what's it called? Heat resistant gubbins. Uh, Captain, Captain tape. Captain tape. Captain or Captain? I think it's Cap Captain tape, isn't it? Whatever it is, it's um, it's space shuttle approved or something, isn't it? This was this was something from the space shuttle program. That's fucking too short, isn't it, you twat? Ah, uh, measure twice, cut once, or just use your eyes. Shovel of ducks. I've I've got um uh another Twitch streamer is um another good one is Trista Bites. Um what's she doing at the moment? I've got her on in the background. She's playing I don't know what she's playing. Um something involving engine malfunctions. Don't know. But that's quite entertaining. The best well, I say the best, the most insane thing I've watched on Twitch was um I posted about it on Facebook, and I was going to mention this earlier, so I'm repeating myself a bit. Was uh, some I, I imagine Dutch um, collective who were doing some kind of uh, demo scene style computer visualizations at the same time as mixing a load of awesome stuff together, and it was just it, it's just a, it was just a guy with aviator specs on mashing buttons and just going <laughs> the whole time. He was having a brilliant. It, Fantastic time this guy was having, and then uh, this, uh, and then a lady behind him who looked like she was wearing an ost wearing an ostrich, you know, the big white kind of the big sort of fluffy uh, club style things. Club style, yes, because I know what what club style means. Not not the Vic Reeves style. Um, oh, had a good trick for getting IC pins and boards to line them up as close as possible, and then run a flathead screwdriver along the sides of the pins, and they all magically drop in. Yeah, yeah. Does that work? Um, so if you've got a, uh, I don't know what I'm describing it for when I'm using my words, when I can just use visuals, he says, rubbing his knuckle on a hot soldering iron. So does that work for, um, you know, that axis? So bringing, bringing pins in that way or bringing them out? Or does it? Because the problem with this one is it was it was they were bent in that direction, so the the pins were that way and that way instead of yeah. We'll see. Well, that's stuck down nicely, isn't it? Cool. Eh. Of course, that's very difficult to clamp now, isn't it? Because it comes flush to the edge. So maybe if I do this instead, let's clamp it there and clamp it there. Yeah, it's not bad, is it? It's a bit, a bit crooked, but. Do, 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 shovel of ducks. Shovel of ducks. Right, cool. Car. I've still got 40 pins to solder. Solder.
Um, I haven't. Did I wipe that? I did wipe that side as well when I when I um I suppropyl alcohol it. Do do do. See, because you've you've watched Mark fix his stuff, you'll know how fastidious he is about cleaning his boards. Um, and it, it does make it easier to be fair, even on like brand new things. Crapton, Crapton, wasn't that um? Is it the Crapton Victor? The, the South African version of the Krypton Factor. <laughs> With, uh... What was the guy's name? Um... Yeah. 80s, 80s, 80s TV show, isn't it? Where they had to go and fly... They did an obstacle course and then did a flight simulator. And they, like, put various shaped bricks into buckets to make them fit. Um, the... The... the <laughs> <laughs> the the Krypton Factor, or the Krypton Victor, as it's like I say, it's the South African version. Elik Krypton tape. <laughs> they do um, uh, Clapton coils for Gordon Burns. Yes, yes, because we only knew Gordon Burns as the guy for the uh, Krypton Factor in the South. But then, like when I was, I, I think it was. I think it must have been one of the first times I went up north for work and uh, put on like, you know, put on TV and it was Golden Bastard Burns doing the local news. And I thought, you mean he's been on, he's been on Northerners TV nightly and we had to only have one night a week with Golden Burns. If you watch that now, I don't know if you've, <laughs> if you've caught an episode, if you've watched an old episode of Krypton Factor, because I have recently because I've had nothing else to do. Um, he was really kind of <laughs> he was kind of low key aggressive to all the contestants. He was a he was a right dick to I mean he wasn't, you know, overt. You at the time you'd probably watch it and just think, yeah, everything's fine. But you watch it now and the guy was actually a bit of an asshole to him. You only noticed three of the changes. There were four hundred and twenty seven. In fact we just showed you two completely different videos and you could only find three things that had changed. You're a moron, Kevin from Bristol. Shovel of ducks. Right. Um. Right. Well, I think I might have literally just burned through a whole uh, a whole tank of gas with it sitting there doing nothing. But never mind. Um. I don't have everything I need. I'm pretty sure. But um. Uh, my tip cleaner. Oh, I don't need that. It's only a few little contacts, isn't it? You're not soldering the bloody Art of Triumph. Because. Soldering the Arc de Triomphe is something that you would do. Obviously. Are we hot? No, I have I have burnt through a hole. Are we? Hold on, I'm just going to put it by my ear without burning it. Oh no, I think we just turned it down a little bit too far. That's okay. Oh, while well, that's heating up again. Oh, ow. That's definitely hot. Um, I'll find my... Uh tin of cleany stuff there we go just to give the the tip a little clean so to speak da, 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 shovel of ducks I don't think this has actually got any sort of flux or anything in it it's literally just like a, a little abrasive thing pardon me didn't mean to burp and then let's just melt a little bit of this stuff on there Oh, I'm off camera, idiot. Oh, come on. Ooh. Nope, not there yet. I think that's a little bit... It looks a little bit dry. Solder paste? I don't have solder paste. And look, I'm putting flux just straight on there like a like a heathen. It's not, he's not wetting very well. Mm. What was what stuff? What the, the syringy stuff? This is just flux. Go 
That's a bit better. Right, okay. Good. One down. Two down. Three down. Through hole with paste. You're through hole with paste. Have you uh have you migrated fully onto uh SMT? Solder what is this, solder mounted technology? I never, never quite remember what the T means. Oh. Actually, oh yeah, yeah. So I read a tip about soldering ZIF sockets on, and they said make sure that the uh, the lever's up because um, what can happen when you're soldering it is um, the solder can sort of run down the metal contacts, and then if it's closed, then what happens is the, the solder dries and keeps the, the the things closed. Whereas if it dries on it when they're open, it will still bend. So um, yeah, I just had to check the arm, make sure it was unlocked. I must admit, the way everything's very, very reflecty, making it very hard to tell how much solder I've put on. Kind of measuring it by distance rather than how it's actually sitting, so I might have to... So it is service mount technology, yeah. Cool. Yeah, so Ross, on my, um, if you're on Twitch now, my, my Twitch thing is... Twitch.tv slash displaced eighty. Oh, that's a little bit a little bit bulbous. Let's reflow that. There we go. Now what's really fun about this little escapade is um I'm not entire I'm not gonna know for sure if this has fixed it. Because last time I did some ROM programming I used the same set of chips that I'm trying to program now and it was a real struggle to get them to work. Now whether that means that the socket was already on its way out or it means that they're bad chips, I don't know. Oh, easy. Get off there. Um, yeah, so <laughs> if it still won't burn, or I keep saying but if it still won't write Oh, hello, what's happening there? There we go. If you still going right after this, it's quite possible that either I've cocked up the soldering, which isn't, which is, shouldn't happen. I mean, it's not that difficult. Um, or the chips are bad. One of the two. And I won't know which, unless I find some known good chips, which I don't have. I just have chips that I don't know if they work. Hey, my little pop up alerty thing worked. Sodder da da ra 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 ra. He's now following. Thank you. Cool, cool, cool. I only set that up today because I was like, hmm, how do these streamy people make it so that things pop up when things happen? Because um, having watched and followed and subscribed to plenty of Twitchy things, one of the best bits is when you when you put your name in. And then you go, you know, oh, that's cool. And then you hit the, hit the follow button and then your name appears up on the TV and you're like, oh, that's good. And you think, I'm a full grown man. I shouldn't be impressed by my name appearing on a television. And yet, and yet I am. So I thought I should probably figure out how that works and do that on my Twitchy thing. Um, actually, I don't know, but would that have appeared on the Facebook feed? I think it would have done. Yeah, because I'm, I'm adding those overlays on my side so they should they should have appeared on on um facebook as well which kind of which probably explains why um twitch is so uh if you if you get if you get good at twitch if you start winning at twitch um hey 
I want a hey, nice. Um, cool. Uh, if uh, if you start winning at Twitch and you become a um, a Twitch, I think it's affiliate is the first one. Yeah, you you get you you can become an affiliate and then you become a partner if you're really good at Twitch. But I think once you even become an affiliate, you then you you're not allowed to do um, uh, you're not allowed to do the restreaming thing that I'm doing. So if you if you broadcast on Twitch, you can only broadcast something on Twitch. You can't you can't have it on Facebook as well. So. Couldn't tell me how to turn it off. Well, yeah, because you'd have. Uh, I bet the um, the lag is different on them. So you probably had uh, what I had earlier, which was a few seconds difference between uh, the Twitch and the Facebook streams. Uh, it's quite easy to suddenly stop paying attention to what you're doing when you're soldering. And then kind of like you come out of the come out of your fugue state and realise you've soldered the wrong thing to the wrong thing. Fumey. Hmm. What's going on there? Melty you bastard. Shovel of ducks. So the shovel of ducks thing on on Robotron is um, he does a he does a little segment where suddenly like some some funky bass starts playing in the background. And he does a little talky bit and starts talking about how he's going to compare something to something else. And whatever it is he picks up to compare, the thing he compares it to is always a little shovel full of rubber ducks. And the answer is always that the rubber ducks are better. I know, it sounds silly. But he does also do um, this thing called The Dark Room, which is basically a, a live-action version of a, um, of a 1980s text-based adventure where he gets someone up stage to start choosing options. He does that. You're awake in a dark room. And they, uh, it's, it's, it's good. There's going to be a lot of that on the 50-hour stream. Okay, let me have a little look at that. Probably accidentally take it out of the way of the camera so I can see it close up. Well, I've soldered all of them, so I'm going to consider that done. I need to say puddle of ducks. That's wrong. Yeah, it's not bad. Have a look. They're roughly equal. They seem to, there's a couple of little sort of slightly blobby ones instead of nice peaky ones, but eh. Right, I'm going to let it cool down quite well first, because if you start, you start wiggling that around and bending things while the plastic's still warm, that's how you end up breaking the thing you've just bought. Ask me how I know that. I know that because I've done it loads of times. Hey, finished soldering. Look, it works. Oh shit! Yeah, look up. Um, uh, if you search for John Robertson, the dark room, or even just the dark room. Yeah, it's. Uh, I, I tend. I try to. Um, the soldering iron temperatures on those are. It's. You're right. It, it is because they cool down as they use more gas, and they get hotter or cooler depending on the angle of them. Um, so my tactic to deal with that is probably inadvisable, but my tactic is to make them really hot and try not to try not to touch it. You know, run it hot and be quick. <laughs> I suppose is what I'll try to do. Because you tend to do you tend to do more harm. Well, I've I've done I do more damage if the soldering iron's a little bit too cool, and I hold it on for too long. Um, if if it's all over the gaff, I just sort of crank it up to the max and just try to just go. Tss, tss, It seems to work. I don't know if it works this time. It's a bit gleamy, gleamier. That's all right, isn't it? I've I've done worse. 
I've done worse in the past past week or so. And in fact, if you look at the if you look at the original soldering on there, that's not great. So you know. Charlotte Love Ducks. See, this is the problem. I watched Robotron before coming on stream, so now that's all I've got in my head is Shovel of Ducks. Let me just refresh my old um, YouTube-y thing. Ooh, no, not YouTube. Actually, am I streaming to YouTube? I think I might be as well. I am, yes. Ah. Oh. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, that is... Um, yeah, I have a I have a plan for a YouTube channel. I didn't realise I was already sending stuff to it. Never mind, that's good. Who's going to? Oh, he will copyright claim me if I keep singing this. Although, I think no, he's Australian. He doesn't believe in copyrights. Don't know how that follows. Right. Uh, where's the rest of it gone? Because that won't get me very far. Oh, it's, st it's still it's still leaking. Why are we still leaking? Bloody isopropyl alcohol gets everywhere. Evaporate! Evaporate! There we go. This is part of the process that I've just invented. And it aids... It aids evaporation is what that's doing. Or something. Doesn't matter, because what is... Uh, What's very unintuitive is, despite the fact... I mean, it's obviously not water, because it stinks of alcohol and would kill you if you drank it. So it's not water, but it looks very watery. And it's, you know, it's, it's not... It's got a very... It looks like water. It feels like water. And um, the, the weird thing, the, the counterintuitive thing about it is it doesn't conduct electricity. Well, this stuff doesn't, because it's like, uh, yeah. Pure anhydrous without hydrous I mean without water so that's good and it won't conduct so you can spray it all over shit and nothing bad happens apart from varnished floors because if it <laughs> if you ask me how I know this if you put a leaking bottle of isopropyl alcohol on a varnished floor bad things happen very bad things it's not too bad, to be fair, but it was a bit of a oh shit moment. I was like, oh, that's got to be sanded and painted, doesn't it? Um, what are doing? This needs to go into something. Where is the something that needs to go into? Here. Right. We're going to stick that in there. The light is... I've got to do something about the light because I really can't see what I'm doing. Despite the fact that there are so many lights, it's kind of just casting shadows on everything. Let me try turning the light off on my, on my camera. Oh, sorry, did I just stick with the focus? I think I might have done. That's that's kind of better. Yeah, there we go. Turn the turn the phone light off. Oh, that, 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 cause that then you can't see there. Turn that back on. Yeah, screw it. I do, right. That looks good, doesn't it? Nice. Nice. Oh, it's, it's got good action. Look. Check out the action. Bloop. Bloop. Cool. Right, I'm, I'm going to be bold. I'm going to be super duper bold. And I'm going to put, um, hmm, I'm going to put the screws in. Sorry, got distracted. Uh, except I'm not going to get very far with that screw head. I'm going to need this one. Screw head? That's not the right word. Bit. Screw bit. Keep thinking it's bank holiday weekend this weekend, but it is not. 
that's next weekend. Although, I do have the week after, that week after off. So I'm working next week, but then bank holiday Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday I've got off. Which will be fun. I think that's when mum's moving though, so um, it might be a little bit hectic. That's when mum's planning on moving anyway. Heading down to um, somewhere else. Probably not the sort of thing you should record on a public video thingy. Right. Well, I'm pleased with that. Whether it works or not, I'm pleased with it. It's the way to look at it, isn't it? It's not the end result. It's not whether it works or it doesn't work. It's the journey you take to get there. It's the fingers you burn. It's the... Um, it's the flux lids you lose. <laughs> which I've... Which I'm not even doing a bit there. I have lost it. I have lost the lid to my... Hold on a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Can I see it on the camera? No. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll just put that somewhere. It's a little bit drippy. It's the only thing, so you kind of got put it back in and it's got another one of my beard hair stuck to it they don't tell you that when you when you go to beard school about how much beard hair we will find everywhere um right let's switch the stream let's cross the streams and have a look at uh probably i probably, probably should minimize my facebook and shit shouldn't i because you don't want to see my facebook pages um desktop oh oh it's drunk oh okay back in a sec i've just gotta take a phone call Ah, right, okay. What was I doing? I was, um, oh, new messages. Where's she moving to? I'm not saying that on a stream. This is recorded. People can see this. I mean, people, no one will, but it's technically possible. Um, uh, I need to turn off this thing because you, you, you can see that I'm here. Uh, yeah, that's what I wanted. What was I doing? I was, I was, <laughs> I was laughing at my wonky, uh, phone camera. Let's rotate that. Hold on. Transform. Bollocks. Transform. 90 degrees. There we go. Right. Let's move that there. Let's move this here. Oh, roughly. She's still she's staying in the same uh, in the same county. Yeah. Not far. Not far. She's like what is she at the moment? About 25 minutes, well, about 20 minutes away from us here, and she's about 25 minutes away from us where she will be. So, um, uh, not far at all. Right, so now I've got far too much chat going on. I've got, I've got <laughs> chat windows everywhere. Um, let's minimize this. Is that, sorry, that is, that, that looks okay, doesn't it? He says checking the other stream. 
Uh, my microphone's on. Yeah, that's good. Okay, lovely. Right, what was the, what's, what's the purpose of this? Um, the purpose of this is to... Um, is to burn a ROM. That is the purpose. You did not get a response from the programmer. Because... You need it to be plugged in, I presume. Beep. Beep. Where's my um, nicotine delivery device? There we go. I presume you can do this on stream. But people swear and stuff on stream, so... Okay. Right. Comstar.rom. Actually, hold on. I should um, I should try and read a chip first, shouldn't I? Um, let's try reading a, a chip that I know has got stuff on it. So, um, one of let's pick the DFS chip. Nothing to do with sofas. That's this. That's BBC Micro's disk filing system. And I'm going to pop that in there. Oh, I need to find out what it is first, don't I? To choose a device. Uh, cancel devices and what have we got there we've got a m5l27128 m5l27128 cool so we just tell the programmer what chip it is we want to program so it can configure this guy to do the right thing it's telling me over here to put it in the slot that way up at the bottom Done. Right, let's try reading it. Buffer. Hey, that looks good, doesn't it? DFS 2.1J issue, blah, copyright solid disk. Nice. Okay, so we can read a chip. This is a very good sign. Right, so let's take that out. I'm gonna be gentle with this because uh yeah, they're not they're not strong. Uh, where is that chip gone that I was throwing around earlier? Okay, so what is this guy? This guy is a... Ah, okie doke. See you in a bit, Ross. Thank you very much for uh, watching. Cool. See you in a bit. Right, okay. I'm probably talking to myself now, but I'm going to carry on anyway, because why not? So, we find out what kind of chip this is. This is a AT28C. 28C256. Okay. So this is where it all went horribly wrong before because it wouldn't read and write the chip. So we're going to pop that in there. First thing I'm going to do is erase it. Yes, I'm sure. Well, that seemed to work. Um, let's try, let's try loading Comstar into the buffer. So this is the Comstar code, which we're going to write onto that there chip. And let's try writing it and see how far we get. Boo! Ah, right, okay, let's try doing it very slowly. No. Try doing it a bit faster. No. Uh, yeah. God damn it. Oh, that's a real bastard, that is, isn't it? Let's try giving it a little wiggle. So, I bought, I think I bought five of these, and um, the other ones that I wrote were a bit of, well, I think I've written two of them, two of the five, and they were a little bit finicky, but they did eventually burn, and they worked fine. So, um, I'm hoping I do just have slightly duff chips. Um, let's try this one, which is the exact same chip. Putting it in the right way, aren't I? At the bottom with the notch there, at the bottom with the notch. Oh. It raises fine. But then I'm not sure quite what it does when you do an erase. I, I, it might not, it might just, 
you know, send the voltages up the pins to erase the, the cells, memory cells, and then not check to see if it's erased. So I'm not going to read too much into the fact that it wouldn't, um, that it, it writes but won't, that it erases but won't write. I'm going to try a double write on it. Ooh. Oh, hello. Hey, that appears to be the secret, I think. Let's let it verify, though. And it verified. Okay. This is very good news indeed. Very good news indeed. I'm going to try the other chip though, just to see if that was indeed the solution. Because if that solves it twice, I can probably call it solved and say that is what you need to do. No, <laughs> I just got lucky. <laughs> oh, that's a right bastard. Oh, it really annoys you when you can't figure out what the problem is, but then it suddenly works, but then you can't recreate the solution. In fact, I'm going to have to recreate it because I must admit, I've done it a little bit wrong. I knew I was doing it a bit wrong, but um, yeah. What I've done wrong is um, these chips are 256K capacity and the BBC expects, I think, 128K. I think it's exactly half. Um, and to make it awkward, um, you know, if the, um, if the, uh, let me, yeah, I could, I can illustrate if the, if the chip holds that much and you've got zero up to the end, so you've got the beginning of the chip and the end of the chip, we're only going to write half of it with Comstar because Comstar is a BBC micro program. It's only 128 K in size. So you'd think you write in the first half and then it'll work. No, 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 no. If you put in a if you put in a two hundred fifty six k chip, the the half that the BBC actually sees is the is the top half. So I've got to write it into there, starting from the middle to the end, rather than from the beginning to the middle, uh, which is what I've just done. I've just written it at the beginning. Um, so I do have to reflash it, but I don't have to erase it. I probably should actually. Let's let's erase it. There we go. But we've seen it work, <laughs> and I'm pretty sure this chip's a bit finicky rather than anything else. To be fair, once they're written, they're, they're written. They, they tend to behave themselves. So it wrote then, and it verified. I don't know if you can hear that, but the stream I've got on behind me is playing the Baby Sharks Shark song, which is now going to be stuck in my head. Right, so we need to take... There you go. You can see the end of the chip is all double Fs, which is which means it's blank. Um, so, um, what's half of seven FFF? I think it's four. Yeah, that's that's basically eight thousand, isn't it? Or eight zero 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 zero. So I think if I copy if I copy it to there. So that would be our, our new start address. I think that's right. Um, yeah, let me, let me, uh, let me, what is it? Um, uh, I want to do one to eight K in hex. Ah, eight zero 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 zero. No, that can't be right. Oh, wait, hold on. That looks like 128, doesn't it? Oh, is it 256 bit, not byte? Yes, of course it is. Uh -huh. So, actually, it's the first 16K. Oh, no, um, hold on, 128. 64K, I need to put it on. So, what is 64K in hex? Ugh. Oh, it's going to be 40, isn't it? Well, yeah, it'll be 40, because if that's 80, it's 40. Okay. So I was right. Yeah, I need, I need to copy this. I need to copy the first... 
16k of this file, of this uh, buffer. Oh, come on. It's going to be a quicker way than this. Oops, first 16k, which is up to 3 FFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFF
Fuck. Um, I've got to move my keyboard out of the way as well, I think. There we go. Need maximum room. Right. More circuit board nudity. Right, I'm going to plug him in. Do, 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 do. Let's hear the beep. Sweet. Right, I had a bit of a palaver last time, didn't I? Trying to get um trying to get the BBC's video to show up on the, the capture card. So hopefully that won't happen again. He says knowing full well it's probably gonna happen again. Uh now that's the serial. This is the video. Right, I plug that in there. You can't see. Let's move this up and that way a little bit. Right, video in there. Uh, trusty OSSC, let's turn him on, turn that on. Excuse me, got hiccups. Turn that on again. Because actually, when I turned it on just now, I did not turn it on, I turned it off. So, really, I'm turning it on twice. Right, okay. What do I want? I want full screen um, camera OSSC. There we go, this is it. So, hmm, there is nothing in that corner. Let us click properties and defaults okay we've got the output from the ossc this is good i like this this is promising i push the button now hit the button frank we get nothing because i've turned it off yes no anything nothing well that's bad it's very bad Very, very, very bad. Very bad news indeed. Um, hello? Come on, come to life. Wait, there was a button I had to push, wasn't there, to make this work, I think. Did I push a button and suddenly it worked and I thought I must remember to push that button again because that's why it didn't work. But if there was a button that did that, I don't know what that button was. I've forgotten. Um, configure video, no, defaults. Default, default. Hmm. No. Huh. Confuserating. All right, the OSSC says that it has a nice signal. I can hear the I can hear the interference from the from the BBC speaker, so I know it's doing something because I can hear the 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 workings, the electrical gubbins going on in there. Um, but we do not have video. Maybe that needs a wiggle. Does this need a wiggle? Does that need a Does that need a button push again? Do I need to do that? Oh, hello. Yes, brilliant. It's there. Yay. Okay. Oh, no, it's, um, it's nearly there. It's almost very nearly, nearly almost done. Very nearly quite, sort of. iPad has a second screen thing just disconnected. It's all happening. Very strange. Okay, let me turn that off. Let me turn that off, and um, if I do a control break on there, this is good. This is very good. Cool. Right. So, um, what am I looking for? Okay. No, no. I proved it works. Now we're going to put the chip in. That's what we want to do. We want to put that chip I've just burnt, which is here, into one of those. Look at those slots just waiting. ROM six. ROM six looks good. Oh shit, I've just realised my camera there has stopped working. <sighs> the delights of USB. Oh god damn it. The hell? Right, let's try that again. 
Yeah, okay. It's all going wrong. It's all right, though. We can fix it. We can fix it quick. And we're going to send that to the back. Whoa. That's where things go wrong. When you send them to the back. There we go. Right. Hey, look at this. Brilliant. So, um, we've got a chip. We're going to put the chip in that slot. We're going to turn the computer off first, because otherwise we might break it. <laughs> I was going to try Ross's trick of um, running a screwdriver along it to line them up, but I don't think I need to. I think this is going to be fine. made a good noise hello what's this solid disk 32k expansion that's this uh stl toolkit manager b model b i'm not seeing anything different there i would have expected to see a mention of um comstar let's ask it what it's got roms manager model b basic that has not worked that has not worked okay um let me turn it off and actually looking at it, I don't think we're all the way in on one side. Let's just try giving that a little squeeze. Get out of the way. Mm. No. Right, okay, I'm going to try in a different socket. Although it's perfectly possible, I might have, um, it might need to have something else fl flashed instead, or it might be an invalid file that I've downloaded. I really don't know. Could be any one of a number of things. What I do need to do is try and find, um, ah, hold on. To find this bit. Uh, sorry, just back in a sec. Right, okay, um, where was I? This, no, not that, this, yes, this. I think that's it, isn't it? Yeah, why not? Phone camera, phone camera, phone camera, yes. This, however, is not doing what I want it to do, is it? So we've still got nothing there, where was I? I was getting a screwdriver, and I was gonna get a little screwdriver head to help me get this chip out. Now, opinion is split. Lots of people say you should use a proper chip puller, but, and although that probably would be fine for, um, for like newish things or chips you've only just inserted, when you're pulling out chips that have been in a socket for 30 years, you tend to end up doing more damage with a chip puller. So um, I've kind of got in the habit of using just a screwdriver. 
Come on. Come on, let go. Let go. That's the stuff. Right. Right, well, why that hasn't worked is unknown to me right now. <laughs> but what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Although that chip there is one of the chips which is showing up as an installed ROM, um, I'm going to probably just try and play it safe and use one of the ROM sockets that's on board the uh, the main circuit board rather than rather than the expansion. So to do that, I've just got to undo a couple of a couple of nuts at the front, which I know you can't see right now, but it's not especially interesting. It's just undoing a couple of bolts either side of the keyboard. And actually, I think this was the last model of BBC where you had to do this nonsense to to get to to get to the uh, the, the ROM sockets. Uh, they sort of moved them around on later models, so you could you you could install and remove ROMs without um, without having to disassemble the keyboard attachment. So there we go. Right. Okay. We're back. What I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna just move that. Oops. Whoa. Easy. Easy. Calm it. Yikes, there we go. Sorry. I'm just going to move this down there and reveal this because then you can see what I'm doing. Okay. So just here you've got the um, the main, the MOS, which was the master operating system, I think. That's, that's the core OS. Then we've got a language chip, which is BBC Basic. So that gives us the interface to be able to type in basic commands and run stuff. And then MMFS V1 is the, um, I can't remember what the MM stands for, but it's a, a filing system for the SD card that I've got. So this is a modern bit of software, um, which handles SD cards and stuff. So I'm going to plonk this in the chip, in the chip, in the socket next to it. Oh, and that popped straight in pretty much. Hmm, that actually feels a bit suspiciously loose. I'm not sure I like how that feels. It's got, it's got bad chip feel, bad socket feel. Uh, okay. Right. Let's move this up and then start her up. Well, that's a bad sign. That's a very bad sign. No sound at all. What's going on there then? It's in the right way up, yeah. Have I wiggled something? Hmm, that's very interesting. Slash scary. Boo. Okay. It's not happy with me. It's still not happy with me. Ugh. What's occurring? That's weird, isn't it? That's really weird. Super duper weird. High pitched wine coming from it. light comes on now which is good ah, I have seen it do this when the keyboard wasn't connected properly and my cable here is entirely bodged so well, this isn't going well is it this is 
very bad news. Well, so what's going on here then? We've got, this is a little bit wobbly, but usually just giving that a little push down when, um, when it fails to boot is enough to get it to work again. But it's not happy this time. It's very not happy. Have we disconnected anything around here? These solder joints were a little bit screwy. It looks fine, looks fine. Hmm. That's our SD card adapter. That's not resting on anything metal, is it? It's not shorting. Could be. Oh, no, it's metal. <laughs> it's not shorting on anything metal, is it? He says, putting it straight down on something that's metal. No. That's cold. They're cold. They're cold. Ah, hold on. Okay, we also lose audio if the uh, if the minus five volt pin gets disconnected. Which it does really easily. Oh, that's not it. Hmm. Ah. Interesting. I have no audio. I think it's that minus five five volt pin that's causing the problem with the audio, which um, which is not unexpected. Because so this this is really weird. If I bring the camera down, so all across the board, the power connectors are these um, spade connectors. So you've got some metal, basically metal metal prongs coming out of the board, and you just slide on a, a connector onto the top. But the minus on this machine, the minus five volt line um, is. Well, you've still got the spade connector, but it it was just sat over the left hand pin there, and that is an IDC pin or a Dupont yeah, IDC pin, and that is not an IDC connector, so that is loose. And under here, where I've made, where I've put that um, this uh, cable for the sound, um, there is actually a pad there from minus five, but there's no um, yeah, just just there. There's, there is a pad for minus five volts. But there's no spade connector on there, so I don't know how this would have come out of the factory. But I can't for a second think it was it would be like this because this is mental. But it should come on. There we go. Right. So let's panic. Let's try that again. Pop this in. I'm going to use the right hand socket now, actually. Let me bring that out of the way. Oh, easy. Keep moving the wrong thing. I'm going to move that out of the way there. And I'm going to use this right hand side socket. Let me just check the pins because when I took that out, I was a little bit. Oh, they're all right. That one's a little bit wonky. Let me just straighten that one. Straighten that one. That's fine. Okay, so let's pop this in the right hand most socket. Oops, in the socket, not next to it. Apparently I want to put it next to it for some reason. There we go. Yeah. That looks good. Let's pop this back. Oh. Still doesn't look like it's got the uh... ah. That's a pain. 
Star ROMs. Ah, Comstar. Yeah. I think to launch Comstar, you use Star Com. Fucking victory. Yes. That's what I like to see. Mm. Excellent news. Look at that. I'm going to actually go full screen with that because I'm pleased. So that software is what we wrote to that chip using that thing we just fixed. Excellent. Well, how long have I been on here for? It took an hour and a half, all but. But I'm happy. That's good. That's very, very good. Right. <laughs> what we haven't done is the whole reason for doing this in the first place, which was to try and get this thing to, to talk to something online. Um, but that's really exciting. That's really exciting. Look at that. I was expecting to see something there, although to be fair, we didn't see um, we didn't see it under Star ROMs, did we? So if I do Star ROMs, you see we've only got well, it was it's all listed there, whereas before we didn't see um, we didn't see Comstar, did we? When I put it in the the the, the sockets on the expansion. Oh, that's fucking brilliant! Well done, well done, us. Nice, right? Okay. I'm going to take that victory for the moment. I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to put the lid on. Oh, why has it gone black? Oh, yeah, sorry, I turned it off to nine and didn't switch to, uh, didn't switch to anything good. Oh. There we go. Yeah, sorry. Cool. Oh, I haven't put the keyboard bolts in yet. I know, I know. I said I was going to print a uh, do all my label printing stuff and all that shit to make it look nice, but I'm not going to bother because uh, I'm too excited. Oh, I shall do that another day. I'm even going to turn it on and leave it on. There we go. Look at that. Right, I'm just going to put my keyboard screws in. Sorry, again, you won't be able to see what I'm doing because it's in an awkward position. Oh, and I think the I think the speaker just worked as well. I think the speaker just came back to life. All oh, right, it's all going. It's all coming up Millhouse. The fuck's the screwdriver gone? There we go. Right, screwdriver. Pop that on there and stick it up the hole. So these screws go in from the bottom of the case up through a hole um, either side of the keyboard. I'll show you once I've done it because um, it's a bit of a pain in the arse. It's a bit fucking fiddly to be honest to the point that I can't actually find the hole there we go get in there yes that's the stuff uh, did I put the washer on the wrong way around I did didn't know the washer needs to be on this side it's got these little uh, grippy grippy washer bastards which um Anchor the uh, anchor the nut against the um, like this the, the PCB material of the um, of the keyboard. Okay. Washer nut and uh, just tighten that up a little bit. I don't know what I'm watching on Twitch now. This. Uh, I don't think it's quite my bag. I might have a little flip through later, but for the moment, it can stay. Right. Screw up there, washer. And nut. Right, lid. And then what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to grab our the whole reason for this shenanigans if I can find it which I've lost it somewhere I put it I I was I was showing it off earlier where did it go it's the uh, the cereal board ah there it is it's hiding from me. Okay, I need a bit drop of USB power for this, so I'm going to unplug my programmer. 
because it's done its job now, I'm going to plug in the. I'm going to plug in this USB lead. There we go. Right. So on the last stream, I did actually get around to programming this, which connects to this, which connects. Let me <laughs> pick you back up again. There we go. You're looking. You're looking right down into everything. Let's get you. Let's get you higher. There we go. Oh, it's better, isn't it? There we go. You're all a bit close. You're a bit, a bit zoomed in. Right, so serial port on the back of the BBC. That's a DIN connector to a RS, well, to a DB9 standard serial port. We're going to plug the serial port into there. This board does some buffering and voltage level conversion to um, to satisfy the difference in voltages between what this expects and what the BBC expects. We've got hopefully got that wired the right way around. Um, I did set this board up and set it the like the SSID and stuff for my Wi-Fi network. So what we should have at the moment is a thing hanging off the BBC serial serial port that also has a Wi-Fi connection and he's running a bit of software that can go between the internet and the serial port. Which is a bit crazy. Um, right, let's do this, um, my phone camera has disappeared again because OBS seems to like just, well, OBS just seems to like dicking around and changing things for reasons. Okay, I'm going to turn it off and on again. Oh, our beep's back as well. This is good. We're going to load up Comstar, oops, Zom. Starcom. Okay, right. I have no idea what to do next. Um, let's. I didn't expect to quite get this far actually. So this is this is all slightly uncharted. Um, one thing I will try, just to make sure things are kind of making sense, is if I push the reset button on this board. I should see some some blinking lights on this board here. So, uh, RST. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if you see on this. Yeah, you can see that just about. Yeah. Well, that's good. So stuff's happening. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to my desktop. And I'm going to do. Uh, BBC Micro Wi-Fi Telnet Teletext because someone out there is running a Teletext server over um, over um, Telnet um, so I just want to find out how to do that View data service Hmm. Using Comstar, set the emulation to Prestel, set TXRX to match when was this? This was 2018, so this isn't too long ago. This might actually work. Okay, so I'm just going to OBS it, and I'm going to just... Um, let me just switch to... ISSC. Okay, so... Using Comstar, set the emulation to Prestel... Can you see a button for that? Um, white buff, auto live view, Moscow X, text mode. Text mode 7 out of 3. File transfer. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> uh, I can't even see like a settings thing. Maybe, let's, let's try some F keys. Oh, hello. I, I pressed break, that was wrong. Um, view buffer, load buffer. Um. Hmm. Text mode doesn't seem to change anything. Seven or three. Uh, echo. So that changes echo. Moss command initialize initialize four two three. Oh, hello. Right, okay. 
so we've got seven seven eight receive three hundred send three hundred so we we were using twenty four hundred or were we using twelve hundred I think we were using twenty four hundred yeah okay that looks good so did that stick let's see if that let's see if that those changes stuck initialize okay this is good um <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I wonder how we connect. <laughs> uh, load buffer? View load buffer. Uh, no. Oh, no, no, don't. Okay, I don't want a file name. Um, reset buffer, white buffer, view buffer. View. Speed. Nine. Do not copy to printer. That didn't work. Chat mode. Comstar ready. Okay, so is this going to let me talk to ATDT? Um, what was it called? GlassTTY.com. I need a better guide because I do not know what I'm doing. Oh, hello. Oh, I've accidentally started the bad Apple demo. <laughs> uh, stupid ass. Um, I shift broke when I didn't mean to shift break. Talent navigation starts, but talent clients in character mode and good for test resolve. I'm uh, doing a personal iPhone. Using services requires a BBC with a Telnet modem. See below. Well, as far as I'm concerned, I've I've got a Telnet modem. This is what I've this is what I've added. Um, use run com start in ROM using C. Select using C. Select Prestel mode. So oh no 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 using star C. Use shift and three. Let's well, not C. Well, I can't see that doing anything. Shift 3 doesn't do anything as far as I can tell. I can't see any mention of Prestel here. I think I might have the wrong version of Comstar after all this. God damn it! No! Hmm... Press return to get back to the Comstars menu, then press C for chat. Right, press I, and then press 5 to set 8 stop, 8 and 1. Yeah, that's that's pretty standard. That's, that's pretty good for... We can do send 2400, receive 2400. Um... SPVM com. Oh, I can see what you're saying here. Run run com star in ROM using star C star. So that's that's just a shortcut for for doing the star star com, which is what I did to launch it myself. Select press time mode shift three. I really can't see any mention of that at all. So I'm presuming I need a, new, a different version of Comstar. That's a it's a, bit, it's a bit of shit, isn't it? Um, hmm. Well, let's 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 just pretend it already is. <laughs> it's, it's nothing ever went wrong just by carrying on regardless. Press C for chat. Then press Control M. At this point, you should see the command prompt. I see. Fuck all. Yeah, I see nothing. Nothing at all. Let's try the escape sequence, which I think is three pluses, if I remember from my old school. No, that's not doing that. That's doing nothing. Shift three. Let's try doing shift three there. Comstar is not ready. Comstar is lying to me. Right, okay. Initialize. Um, since end. Receive. Boom. 
What's text mode? Text mode. That doesn't seem to do anything. Uh, auto line feed. Blah, 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 blah. Echo switch. Let's turn echo on. Yeah, let's turn echo on because I'll be able to see what I'm typing. Auto line feed. Uh, auto line feed on? Auto LF. Let's turn that on and see what happens. Okay. And then let's go to chat mode. 80, yes. Uh, actually, if I just do 80, I should get OK back. Ah, see, that's not doing anything. I thought I'd at least get AT back. Let me, let me watch the, um, I'll watch the board and see if I see any stars. I, right, okay, I see things happening on the board. Hmm. It's bad news. Well, it's not bad news. It's just annoying news. Uh, if I do, if I switch it to this again, so if I, too many wires in the way, too many wires, if I wake this up a little bit and uh, zoom in there a bit, you can see that if I type AT and hit return, it is, it is it's talking, there is some talking going on. Uh, there was. Yeah, okay, I saw that. I don't know if it showed up on the camera, but I can see a send and a receive happening. Or am I seeing, am I seeing a receive happen, happen as well? Or, or is my, my eyes playing tricks on me? No, it's definitely, absolutely, we're seeing, we're seeing traffic going both directions, which is really promising. Um, but what we're not seeing is anything on the screen to show that, to show what is happening. Because um, there's two LEDs there, one for oh, one for data coming in, one for data coming out. And the fact that if I send the AT command, so what should happen is when you say to a, a um, like a dial-up modem, if you send it the AT command, um, it should reply with OK. Now, the light suggests the light on the board suggests that it is replying with OK, but Comstar isn't showing that on the screen for a reason or two or other. I wonder um, how do I get out of chat mode. Uh, do I do do I do three breaks? Escape. Okay, escape. Let's try changing the text mode and then going into the chat again. Oh, oh I think that's literally just the display mode, isn't it? Yeah, that's not going to help me. No, I'm getting the same. Hmm. Could be board rate. Is it flow control? It's not flow control because we um, the the wire is set up to not use um, flow control. Uh, da, 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 what could it be? What could it be? Hmm. Apologies for the screen bouncing up and down a little bit. Actually, that's um, that's the BBC sending an interlaced output that the that the capture card's not not liking too much. Uh, I could fix that, but <laughs> it's, it's not that bad. Uh, view buffer, white buffer, output buffer, reset. Nothing to do with the buffer, I'm sure. Um, auto line feed, echo switch. Let's have another little look at initialize. Um, so, 8 bits to a byte. No parity, one stop bit. That's that's your, your sort of like your RS232 serial defaults. That's fine. Send and receive looks fine. Maybe I'll try it at 1200 instead. Maybe I'll try 1200 instead, instead of 2400. Okay. Right, so chat mode. Oh yeah, shit, sorry, I've got to change the, um, change that back, didn't I? Oops, AT. That's doing my head, and let me change the, change the text mode. I'm pretty sure that's not working. Maybe if I try and get this to produce some output by resetting. That is literally not showing me anything, is it? Uh, chat. 
Ah, fuck's sake. Change text mode back and then go to chat. So when this board resets, it should dump a bunch of debugging information out. So I'd have thought even if the board rate the board rate's wrong, I should maybe get some garbled characters right now um, every time I reset. Um, because that's what happens if you point it to a PC. I'm just wondering if my send and receive lines might be the wrong way around. Um, so the, the TX and RX are the blue and purple. So let's try swapping the blue and purple around and see what happens. Right, let's see what that does. Uh, reset. No, no, that's that's worse. <laughs> on the um, on the board here, I'm only getting one LED light up now. Um, okay. Swap those back. See, with those swapped round, with those, sorry, with those set back to how they were, although I'm only seeing one, I have only seen one light. Oh, that's fine, though, because it wouldn't echo it back. Uh, why won't you show me stuff? Let's, let's try. Um, let's try. I'm, I'm still convinced that this board itself is running at 1200, is running at 2400. Let's initialize it again. Let's bump up the receive and the send. Uh, chat mode again. No, it's not having it, is it? I'm just going to swap them again just to see. Because what I thought was, I thought that swapping them had, had meant that only one of the directional LEDs was coming on on the um, Max 232 board. But actually, it was only ever going to be one lighting up anyway because the traffic's all one way. No, it's just not happening, is it? That's a pain. Just for shits and giggles, let's turn it um, X on X off on. Nah. Everyone on Twitch is playing the Mass Effect Limited um, Limited Edition, uh, Legendary Edition, and I'm really quite jealous because I would love to. I'd love to just sit and just burn like burn like a week playing all three Mass Effect games, like I was. You know, 24 or whatever again. So this is with flow control turned on and we're getting nada. Oh well, we've uh, we've 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 had we've had ups and downs. Had glories and losses and sadness and tears and joy. Oh, did I see something just then? No, it's just my eyes. Mmm, so close though. Tell you what. I'm just gonna give the socket a little wiggle. Fuck, you know what it might be? These sockets are like bi-directional, aren't they? I might have it just the wrong way round. Ah, I mentioned that on the last stream. Um the, the, the DIN port on these, it's a it's a five pin like a imagine imagine five pins uh, five pins. Imagine five dots on a dice. On a die, sorry. Do 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 do. It's it's that arrangement, which is ridiculous for a DIN plug because it means you can plug it in multiple ways round, which is there is a reason for it. it involves speakers, audio audio equipment. But um, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and be bold. It's possible it, that might be the cause. All I know is that I can see I can see flashing lights happening on this, so. Data is data's there. It's trying to get moved around, but it's just not making it. So what way what, what around are we at the moment? We are screw to the right. So let's try screw to the left. It's not going to cause any harm because there's no like um, there's no like power signals, and the ground pin is the middle pin. So um, oh, that's interesting. Um, we've got a permanently on light now. 
I think that might be the wrong way around, but never mind. Let's see what happens. No, I think we might be wrong. Yeah, I think we might be wrong. I think what's happened there is we've got, I think it was the right way around the first time. So the problem is, is that that light there is stuck on. There we go, you can see it against my hand. Um, which suggests that I've got one of the TX or RX lines touching um, the ready to send or clear to send, which are set complete, which are set statically high. Um, but let's try a few things anyway, because you never know. Even if it doesn't actually start working, we might see a sign that there's something, uh, there's something afoot or something going on. Let's try swapping the, uh, let's try swapping these again. Oh fuck! I can't even remember what way was the right way, right? the original way round now. So it's always worth just toggling them and see what happens. I suppose our light isn't stuck on now. That's interesting. Right, initialize. 2400. 2400, go. Uh, chat mode, reset this. Hmm. Light gets stuck on again, doesn't it? Yeah, no, I think, um, I think it was the right way around the first time. Sadly. You see what I mean? That's, that's crazy, isn't it? Absolutely nuts. So let's do it with the. I'm, I'm aligning it by the screw on the case there. So let's, let's put that in there. Let's see what we get again. Oh, it does not like that. It did not like that. What have we what have we wiggled around? There we go. <laughs> it's not exactly a delicate machine. I mean, it's it, it's tough, but um, like the moment you start adding expansion boards on and things like that, stuff finds a way to work itself loose. Oops. I'm gonna try launching it the way that it says to in the, in the instructions. Star C star. Does that give us any magical Presto or what was it, view data mode? No, it doesn't. I think I need a new version of Comstar, really. But even though, even then, sorry, I would have expected to be able to see a bit of data coming through, even if it wasn't like fancy teletext screens or whatever. I'd have hoped to have seen just some serial messages or some debugging messages or something. Um... Oh, actually, this is still technically connected. To, oh, hold on. This is still technically connected to the PC. This is still... This has a COM port open, doesn't it? Is that going to cause a problem? Is that going to cause a problem? I don't think so. Or will it? Why do I feel like... This? So... When you've got the USB lead plugged in, you can you can open a serial connection to this board. A serial connection is also what this board's using to talk to down these wires. Those wires are the RX and TX pins there. I've got a strange feeling they might share actual hardware with each other. So is the is the presence of the PC side serial port interfering somehow or another? These are all good questions that I do not know the answer to. Which is a shame. Um, let's try, let's try something. 
let's try something. What should we try? Um, let's. I'm going to try. Hmm. If I open the serial monitor on the PC, I'm, I know you can't see this at the moment, sorry, but um, that is why it is. Um, <laughs> okay, so uh, if I do this, sorry. If I, so you can see when I reset the board, we get this text. And we're using 2500 board, so this is good. We've got hardware flow control off. Um, I need to, I want to do that ATIP thing just to make sure it's got an IP address. Yeah, we have an IP address. This is all fine. Okay, this so, so this is good. Obviously, it's not one hundred percent right. Um, sorry. If I switch to if I switch to back to here, so you're seeing the 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 BBC mic around the camera. Hello. I'm also looking at the, sc uh, the PC screen to see if anything pops up on the serial interface there when I send information from the from the BBC. Let's find out. Ah, I haven't turned on Echo, so I can't see what I'm typing. Although this isn't this isn't all that promising, to be fair, because um, I'm not seeing anything on the serial port for the PC. Hmm. 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 ATDTFoo.com. Uh, AT get. HTTP. Oops. What the fuck was that? Colon. Ah, yes, you don't push shift. Oh, imagine now if you didn't have to do a shift for a colon on PCs today. That'd be great. Fuck's sake. Co.uk. Cop.uk. Ah. UK slash index.html. Let me see if I see anything on the serial port for that. No, I'm not. ATDG, ATDT. I just want to send a bunch of data so that I can see this light flashing, really. I'm seeing nothing now. I'm seeing fuck all squared. Hmm. Is that because I've got this port, the, the COM4 port open on the PC? I think it might be actually. That's not working now. Okay, I think I might need to swap these back. I think I might have got them the wrong way around again. Because I feel like this is doing worse than it was originally. Yeah, that's that's the stuff. Look at that echo. Look at it. Look at it go. Okay, so that is 100% confirmation because it is totally and utterly echoing. We're seeing stuff come backwards and forwards when you send and receive. This is fine. Or is it just looping back? <laughs> is it just looping back? No, no, it can't be. That's got to be. That's got to be something coming from the board. Hmm. Okay, let me open the serial port up again on the PC so I can watch stuff. Serial monitor. Okay. Okay, I can see the output. I'm sending the AT command, which should return OK. Ah, oh, hello, 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 hello. Let me, um, let me do what I was going to do. Let me bring you onto the desktop so you can see what's happening. Um, OK, so uh, the serial monitor. Right, OK. So you see this serial monitor window here. 
if I just bring that over there, you'll be able to see. Um, no, you can't. But you'll be able to hear. When I type things on the BBC, it's receiving it. It is receiving it. But the board, there's either a board raid mismatch or board rate mismatch or a stop um, stop bit or parity mismatch. But it's definitely receiving stuff. At. Right. Okay. Okay. This is this is kind of good. This is kind of good. Um. Sorry, you don't need to that way around, do you? You want this way around? Right. Okay. Something is working. Something is happening. This is excellent news. I can type things on the BBC. Things go down the wires. The PC can see things happening. So I, yeah, yeah, okay, I did. I did say the right thing. Right. Okay. Escape. Initialize. AN1 is pretty fucking standard though. 8 nun one is really, really standard. Oh, the board rate's wrong. R, R, S, S. Okay, the board rate is in fact wrong. So, 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 so. Chat mode. AT. Ooh. Hello. Hello indeed. Let me um Oh, excitement. I'll tell you what. Let's uh let's add a let's add a window capture. Um Sorry, just take it won't take a sec. Um yes, that's what I want. I want that window there. Uh yes, perfect. Right, okay. So this is the window of the serial port on the PC. And if I, I tell you what, let's, let's let's be dramatic about this. Let's be dramatic. Let's um, let's come back to here. Okay, we're we're clear. All right, up there, up there, is the output that the PC is seeing on the um, on the ESP board on this. So if I hit reset on the board, you see that that's cool. So that's this guy talking to itself, telling us what it's doing. Now. If I push C to go into chat mode on the BBC, so now I'm sending data to this. If I type AT, which is, there we go, you can see it right there. You can see the AT appear there. So what I type on the BBC is getting through and it is being understood by the board. AT OK. AT DT, I don't know, what, BBC.co.uk. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna complain. It, it's fucking working though, look. It's fucking working. It's because what it's <laughs> what it's trying to do is it's trying to connect to a telnet port. Um, oh, and I said telnet, didn't I? You know what that means. You 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 must know what this means. Please tell me you know what this means. What we're gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna just quickly search this off off the stream just to make sure I get the right thing. Hold on, sorry. Um, Right. Da, da, da. I might just. I don't think it's the address that I remember anymore, though. I thought you must be able to guess what it is. Uh, okay. I don't. I feel like it might not. It, yeah, it may not work anymore. Yeah, I don't think it does work anymore. Um, da, da, da. I don't know if it exists anymore. Da, da, da. Let's 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 try it. Let's try it. A T D T. Towel dot Lincoln Lights dot N L. How do I specify a port? Uh, ATDT, it tells me here, doesn't it? Um, ah, where is it? ATDT host, it's just host colon port. Okay, cool. And I want port 666. Edgy. Oh, it's no carrier. It's not working. Shit. B-L-I-N-K-E-N. L-I-G-H-T-S. 
Nl. I'm going to try it on my PC actually, just to just to see if um, just to confirm it's really not working. Um, I say my PC. I'm going to turn it to somewhere uh, SSH to somewhere with Telnet. Do I have Telnet actually on Windows 10? I don't think I do. No. Uh, for SSH media box. Don't read out your password. Okay, I've got Telnet on this machine. I do. So, Telnet towel dot blinken lights dot nl port six six six. No, okay, so that doesn't work. So where does that live now? Fuck's sake! Someone must have cloned it. You know, I don't. I don't know if simple this is yet. Um, I don't think I've said what it is, but. You probably already know what it is. Show you years ago. So, so it was working as of two years ago, but it's not anymore. Uh, so that's a hit from 2008. It's possible that this um, this doesn't work anymore. Oh come on! I feel like we the hardware works. I feel like we just need to find the right address to connect to to see what it does. So someone's posted this as of so August twenty ninth, twenty twenty. Someone actually did do this. It's not port six 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 apparently. Hmm. I've just tried it without specifying port 666 and it's just stuck on trying. Um, so I don't think, no, it's just, it's just stuck. Either it's busy or it's throttling or it's just down slowly, running slowly. Um, so I'm going to see if I can find a different Telnet service. Um, fun Telnet servers. Okay, right. A Google BBS terminal. Well, that's kind of what I want, isn't it? I want, I want a Telnet BBS. Right, okay. Um, so I'm going to try these on my PC first, so that I can just confirm whether or not they do or don't work before I try it on the on the BBC and um, get all humpy. No, I'm getting humpy. It's more um, if I start chasing my tail trying to figure out why it's not working on the BBC, and actually it's just because the host is down. So first one I tried, yeah, first one I tried doesn't work, doesn't exist anymore. Um, I think these things have got a pretty short shelf life, to be honest. They kind of pop up and then disappear. Although, is that because of the port? The way I, no, that might be because of the way I expressed the port. Okay, yeah, because it's space 6400, not colon. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, that works. It doesn't do anything interesting, but it works. So I'm going to do the same on the BBC. So uh, I'm going to do um, ATDT. So it's basically instead of dialing a phone number, we're dialing a telnet address. Uh, particles BBS dot dynedns.org. Port number 6400. Okay, so keep an eye on that box up at the upper right and we'll see what it says. Well, that's a shame. It's saying, it's saying no carrier. P 
P-A-R-T-I-C-L-E-S-B-B-S dot dynedns dot org six four double eight. Is it case sensitive? It can't be. No, 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 name resolution isn't. It's particles BBS, and we're doing ATDT. There is, uh, hold on, there isn't a space in the example, so let's try that ATDT. Ah. Yeah, so it's not working. I mean, it is working. <laughs> this here, this text here is, is us dialing. Oh, here it is. So we're dialing. We're connected at 2400 and we are getting a message back. That message isn't getting back to the BBC, though. Don't know why. At least it's not it's not echoing back what um, what, what is being returned. Which is very odd. I wonder if it will work if I close that port though. Um, okay. ATDT. Oops. AT. Oh, hello. What's going on? Ah. Right. Let's just do a few ATs. <laughs> ATDT. Ah, don't want a space, no. Do there we go. Particles BBS dot dyn DNS dot org colon six four double oh. All right, okay, so it had nothing to do with um having the serial port open on the PC. God, that's quite frustrating, isn't it? I mean, on the one hand, it's nice to see we are, we are absolutely, definitely, positively sending data to um, from the BBC to the board, which itself is good. Um, yeah, but why we're not? So let's try that ATDT uh, towel. Dot. Tell dot blink and lights dot nl. And no carrier. Hmm. I don't know how I can prove stuff. Co stuff's going the other way. Can I? Can I get? Yeah, I can't. Can I really? I don't know if uh, I don't know if you can hear behind me, but the person playing, the person streaming Mass Effect at the moment has just got to the um, the uh, Gilbert and Sullivan song, and uh, I just had to stop and appreciate that for a second. Go more than Solus. Oh, right. Okay, I think I might call it a night there. We did, we've done we've done good though. That's not too bad. We've uh, fixed a fixed the EEPROM programmer. Uh, we've programmed a programmed a chip. We've fitted the chip. We've uh, we've we've shown that we can get information from the BBC to this, um, and it does stuff. You know, it tries to connect to things. It doesn't succeed, but it tries to connect. Um, we're not getting anything back to the BBC, which is the last bit, which is weird. Oh, I'm deleting stuff. But that's all right, isn't it? I mean, really. It kind of, we, we, it kind of works. We're nearly there. That's great. Happy with that. I'll take that. Lovely. Well, thank you very much. If anyone's still there, if anyone's still watching, I think the it's saying one person's watching. I'm still pretty convinced that's me. It might be my brother-in-law. Who knows? Um, I will uh, say good night and um, yeah. Hold on a sec. Thank you very much. Bye bye.